Hey guys, my name is Seth, and I'm on a mission to restore honor to the music world because today's music has gone completely to the dogs. Back in the day, you actually had to have talent to make it big on the radio. Singers actually had to know how to sing, and people had to know how to play instruments like guitar, bass, and drums. That's why I made this show, Classic Rock Review. With the show, I hope I'll be able to introduce my generation and those below mine to some awesome music. So, let's get started. Today, I'll be reviewing Aerosmith's greatest hits album, Big Ones. It features Steven Tyler on vocals, Joe Perry on guitar, Tom Hamilton on bass, Joey Kramer as the drummer, and Brad Whitford as rhythm guitar. It features 15 songs, Walk on Water, Love in an Elevator, Ragdoll, What It Takes, Dude Looks Like a Lady, Janie's Got a Gun, Crying, Amazing, Blind Man, Deuces Are Wild, The Other Side, Crazy, Eat the Rich, Angel, and Living on the Edge. Uh, let's start with Walk on Water, the first track, of course. Um, it's a really good song. I love that they use this to open up the album because it gets your attention, and you're, you're pretty much hooked, and you have to keep listening. Um, it, it's... I don't know how to describe it. it, it it's, it's a really good song. I love it, and uh, I love that they use this for their first song. I give it a 9 out of 10. Love in an Elevator is just as the name suggests. Love in an Elevator. Draw your own conclusion. Um, I love this song. I give it a 10 out of 10. Ragdoll. Um, kind of a... It's sort of got that old time feel to it with uh, rock and roll mixed into it. Um, I, I love how Steven Tyler uh, makes up words all the time. It, it, it's... <laughs> It's pretty funny and it's great. Um, I give that a 10 out of 10. What it takes, um, for those of you who don't really know Aerosmith, you might know, not know this song. Um, it's not one of their huge songs, but it is pretty big. I love it. My whole family loves it. Uh, 9 out of 10. Dude Looks Like a Lady, absolutely one <laughs> great song, hilarious. Um, it's, it, don't judge a book by its cover, that, that's the main message of the song. Um, I give it a 10 out of 10, I, I love that song. Janie's Got a Gun, kind of a sort of darker song, uh, but still nonetheless great. I absolutely love it, and I give it, um, a 10 out of 10. Crying, uh, it's about a guy who meets a girl, he was crying when he met her. Now he's dying to forget her. Um, good song. Very good song. I give it a 9 out of 10. Blind Man. I actually didn't know this song until I listened to this album. Uh, but I, I'm still trying to draw a conclusion about it. I, I do like it, but it's not one of those more well-known Aerosmith songs to me. Uh, you might love it if you listen to it. Tell me what you think. But, for now, I give it an 8 out of 10. Deuces Are Wild, great, one of my favorite Aerosmith songs ever. Uh, he loves you, cause your deuces are wild. Um, I don't know what deuces are, but maybe I'm stupid, I don't know. Uh, I give it a 10 out of 10, though. The Other Side, I actually don't think I heard this song either until I bought the album. Um, I, but I fell in love with it, just like every other song on the album, and I give it a 9 out of 10. Crazy, uh, it's a love song. Um, Aerosmith is big on love songs. Pretty much all of these are love songs. And, uh... <clears throat> sorry. It, it, it's really, really good. I give it a 10 out of 10. Then, Eat the Rich. It is actually my favorite Aerosmith song. It's pretty funny. Um, I don't know if it's kind of trying to be a political statement or if it's just eat the rich because you know, Steven Tyler Aerosmith is rich. Um, I think it's just a funny song. Great, great drums and uh, I suggest you listen to uh, Joe Perry's guitar riffs on it. I, I love the song. 10 out of 10. Angel, another love song. Great, great song. 
um, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. And then Living on the Edge. It's about society's problems, and we have a lot, but we also have, you know, upsides. I don't really want to get into politics on, to, on this show. Maybe I will later. But uh, Living on the Edge, great, greatly produced song, greatly written song. Incredible. Steven Tyler, good job. And that wraps up the album. And uh, overall, I give it a 9 out of 10. And um, it, the suggestion came over Facebook from somebody named Joseph Cameron, one of my friends. So I reviewed it, and I hope you liked it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. But if you did, give it a thumbs up. It really does help. And subscribing also helps, too. Um, I, don't, I know I don't have a whole lot of viewers. Um, like Ray William Johnson has millions, and uh, Philip DeFranco has millions, or, well, hundreds of thousands, and no, he has millions. Um, but I feel like I have the best viewers on YouTube. I don't have any negative comments. I don't have any dislikes. So I just wanted to say thank you guys. I know probably as time progresses and if the show gets more views, then I will have the dislikes, I will have the trollers, but for now, I still have, I, I have positive reviews, but even when those people do come, if they do, I'll still have the best viewers because I still have you guys, hopefully. Hopefully you won't get bored with me or dislike me. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have an album review that you, you would like me to do, leave it in the comment section below or through my Facebook page or Twitter. Facebook is probably the best way to leave a suggestion. So go over there, like the page, and I'll try to review whatever you would like me to. Uh, until then, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.